This is Max Williams with United Real Estate, and today I'm in North Chesterfield. Today we're going to take a look at a four bedroom, two and a half bath home. This home is located here in a very popular section of North Chesterfield named Bon Air. And if you're all familiar with this area, you know that Bon Air is known for homes that were built uh, in many cases in the 60s and 70s and were situated on nice big lots. Uh, our subject property today is located on a corner lot and it is newly renovated. Special thanks to Heather Horshack, listing agent who was kind enough to allow us to come in and take a look at her beautiful listing. Actually, when I saw her name on this property, I knew that it was gonna be a treat. Uh, she not only is a realtor, but also a professional designer. And I believe she's an architect as well. So she's very talented and uh, you've seen some of her work before and it, it kind of got me to thinking after looking at the listing um, i was viewing a youtube video just yesterday and the setting was an urban convenience store like a corner store uh and it was probably a low-income area and the shopkeeper who is the youtube producer actually works behind the counter and uh, he videoed a number of uh, male patrons coming in and they ordered their, their cigarettes and cigars and other items. And many of them would ask for a lighter. And he gave the males pink lighters. And if you're at all familiar with men and the color pink, uh, you can probably imagine the response that he got. Um, let me basically put it like this. Um, the pink lighter was met by very sharply worded responses from his male customers. And when I say very sharply worded, uh, some of them were um, choosing words that uh, definitely should not have been on YouTube. Uh, you get the picture. So it, it made me think and, and it made me realize that colors really do matter. And of course, most responses to colors are not going to be as sharp as uh, those men's responses, but colors do matter. Uh, if I showed up today on this video and I had on a bright yellow shirt and you got a glimpse of my pastel pink pants, y'all would think something was going on. Um, it is not traditional for men in general to wear those colors. However, if I was a woman, it would be no big deal. You would just say, Maxine is having a real colorful day today. So colors do matter whether we realize it or not. One of the things I love about this property is that we have some non-traditional colors and i think they work really well and i wanted to see what you guys thought about the the selection here today um, it's going to be very different but you can tell that it was tastefully and professionally done okay we can see here on the corner lot we've got uh some really nice mature trees here in the back not too much grass to cut and we've got a really nice deck here on the rear as well that deck appears to be uh, pretty much new from all appearances our exterior is a blue vinyl siding we've got a little bit of brick down low we actually have a finished basement uh, they're so rare i even forgot what they were called <laughs> we've got a finished basement i know my northerners love to see their basements and they did a wonderful job this one gives us a lot of additional uh, common space and uh, i think it worked out really nicely uh, this home does have a completely new kitchen the refinished floors look absolutely amazing and homes of course built in the 70s didn't have an open floor plan i know a lot of my viewers really prefer a more traditional floor plan and uh, that's of course what this home provides we've got great curb appeal as you can see here uh, we've got some landscaping that was done uh, our blue color scheme extends here to the exterior as well we've got a blue and brown with a really nice inviting brown door okay let's go on in and see what we have in store to the left is going to be our formal dining room and that has chair rail and crown molding we're going to see that a little bit more here momentarily our stairs of course going up walkway to the rear and then to the right this would be our formal living room. This space, of course, has crown molding, beautiful walnut floors, good natural light flows in, and we're sitting up nice and high here. I know a lot of people love to have a house that's up nice and high from street level. 
So we're going to now transition directly across and I'm going to take you into our formal dining room. And here we are. We've got, of course, a new light fixture, chair rail, crown molding in this space. We've got plenty of room here for your dining room table and additional furniture. A very traditional floor plan here. This home does have two zone heating and air, and those are relatively new units. Uh, there's one of our thermostats right there. Okay, here in our kitchen, we've got uh, crown molding, recessed lights, uh, an island with seating for about two there. I love our 42 inch blue cabinets. Notice at the top, we've got a nice trim package and all of the stainless appliances convey, including this Samsung with ice and water in the door. Our countertops are a quartz and I'm going to get close so you can see we've got a really faint blue gray there that shows up in those countertops works beautifully with the cabinet selection. This kitchen also features tile backsplash and directly ahead is our stainless sink with our brass fixtures, which I think look very nice here uh, with this blue color scheme. On the opposite side, of course, our island provides for some additional counter space as well as storage. There is enough space. You could get a small table over here on this wall. But of course, we do have the actual dining room and our island uh, for additional seating. I'm going to pop out onto our deck so you can see what we have here in the rear. I love the fact that we've got enough space here on this deck where you can really use it. Um, as you can see, it's staged, but we've got enough space back here. If you wanted to have a grill, uh, even another table or two, uh, you could definitely do so and not feel cramped. All right, we are going to go ahead and go back inside and see what else we have in store here on the first floor. Directly to my left is our powder room. Now, you can see what I was talking about as far as color. I love this green. I think it works beautifully, especially with our wallpaper selection. The green is picked up on the vanity as well. And that combination of the green and brass, I think, is a very nice combination. We, of course, have the window there looking off to the rear. Directly ahead would be our family room. Notice the arched walkway here. We do have a ceiling fan in place and a nice big window here on the rear. We've got a lot of natural light that will flow into this space. Our wood floors continue all the way into this room as well. All right, I'm now going to take you downstairs so we can see what we have in store in our finished downstairs space. Okay, here to our right, this is going to be our unfinished portion of the basement and we've got a nice large space here. This is of course our oversized laundry room. You could of course use this for plenty of storage. We've got a washer dryer in place, a utility sink, electric water heater. Our electric, of course, is 200 amp. And one of our two heat pumps is right there in the corner. I love this uh, unfinished space because it doesn't feel damp, nasty, wet. Uh, it is a very nicely conditioned space and would be perfect for some additional storage. As we continue out directly ahead, this is going to be our, I'm going to call it a a game room. This is big enough to where if you wanted to have pool table, ping pong, uh, pinball machines, you could do that. If you wanted to make it a workout area, you could do that. This could be a second family room area. It could uh, be a place where you could entertain uh, just all types of potential here down on this basement level. Now, this is a walkout basement at this point because our door, of course, would take us right out to the driveway. And so that's super convenient. Um, if grandma's living with you and she wants to come on in at 2 a.m., uh, she can discreetly just come on in here. She's got a couch down here. She can crash on the couch and nobody would even know that she rolled in at 2 a.m. All right, let's go back upstairs to our second level. Okay, here we are 
on our second level to the left we have some bedrooms of course the stairs we just came up and then some additional bedrooms on this side as well we're going to start here in this bathroom this of course is our hall bath notice the accent wall that is directly ahead and it is a grayish white accent wall with a nice pale blue vanity once again we've got a quartz countertop and the same fixtures that we saw downstairs ceramic tile in the tub shower area and then we've got a marble look tile here on the floor i think that all works very nicely together we're going to start here to our right this is going to be a really good sized bedroom this is actually uh, a space that you could do a king size bed with no problem we've got these gorgeous wood floors here notice that with the exception of the basement there's no carpet on the second and first floors in this home moving on to our hallway we have a linen closet right here to the left and then there's actually a second linen closet right here so no shortage of storage space here in this beautiful home this is going to be probably the most conservative of the four bedrooms this would be ideal for home office or child's bedroom or simply storage really good closets in all of these bedrooms which is a nice plus a lot of people love this area because you are convenient to downtown to the shopping district uh, midlothian uh, you've just got a really good location yet it feels like a uh, neighborhood that um, is actually uh, not an urban neighborhood but just a few uh, minutes away you could be uh, in a more urban feeling neighborhood so uh, you get a little of everything here uh, in this location you get uh, the, the proximity to infrastructure but the feel of being way out in the suburbs this is a really good sized bedroom you can definitely get a king in here with no problem uh, this is almost the size of a uh, primary bedroom which is a nice plus to have really good sized bedrooms that's going to be our thermostat number two so you control upstairs and downstairs independently which is a really nice plus okay this is our primary you can see it's staged definitely could get a large bed in here with no problem our closet is going to be here to the right and we've got some staging items in here uh, but i think you get the idea that you've got good potential here for storage you could of course come in with uh, custom rods and make that a really useful space for your clothing storage needs directly ahead is our primary bath and i love what she did here with this as well we've got the marble look on the floor we've got a nice pale blue here in this bathroom and then to the left we've got the marble look tile and of course uh, the fixtures with the matching product nook right there uh, I think looks really good love the color there on that vanity as well uh, it is a uh, medium bluish gray so I think all of these work together beautifully wow what a beautiful rehab in, in a nice established neighborhood more traditional design this is just one of many examples that we have here in Central Virginia. If you have questions about this or any other home on the market, my name is Max Williams. It would be an honor for me to help. I can be reached on Facebook under Richmond Area Foreclosures and YouTube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Please be sure to comment, like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for taking the tour. Y'all be safe. Have a great day.